there's no distance between us, and I don't know why, maybe because we are in the same age, or maybe we are three women, or maybe we are three photographers, or maybe, I don't know, but uh, for me it was, we are different, but it doesn't matter. It's different, it's not, it was, since the first day it was like we, we know each other since two years or three years, and so it's really nice to, to live that. that I know best how to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I was educated to do it. So, you know, if money are involved, you know, I'm saying yes, mm -hmm. because I, I'm not in position where I can really choose will I do it or not. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when I have a lot of shooting in the months, I say, okay, I cannot, I don't have time. Mm -hmm. Or if I less like some, some of those jobs. Mm -hmm. But, you know. When I finish it, when, when I come home, I know I have my rent, I know I will have some more money mm -hmm. for uh, production of one piece or two, you know, it depends everything, so... But I think it's a good way also, because you have time for your own work also. Yeah, I'm free, yeah. and freedom is and so what I, I really need, so I can work, you know, just be a, out of stressful yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. There is something I dream to happen in Egypt, to have a kind of, I don't know how to say it, it's something to documentary everything about photography. And it's not only photography, it's about all artists, you know, because in Egypt we have a lot of good artists, but they are not well known, yeah. mm. and their work just dies there. If they don't have the chance to exhibit the work. No. That's why the, the thing you mentioned before for the Utah artist, young artist, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good they can apply that. Yeah. Because it's most because, you know, no one says one is doing this and this and that. And no one critic to my work in a professional way. Yeah. So I don't have um, a documentary for my work. Yeah. What this done in the year, whatever it is. And mm -hmm. the concept was this and this and this. It's important to have a kind of achieve for artists. Yeah. I, I guess it would be great if we have a kind of database to search for artists and yeah. their work. And it's nice to have a common language to speak with different people, of course. Yeah. But I think it's, it's important for to communicate. Yeah. But for me also, it's really one with you. It's not difficult for me because. I am not waiting to be too much interest from anyone, you know. I'm not expecting it's... from anyone to speak to yeah. the English, which is great. Yeah. It's not our mother language. So it's... And for explaining my work, I, I don't know if it's an advantage or... But I think from time to time it's good also to, to try to explain your, your work in the most simple way.
This is my portfolio, my project called When I Was. So I start working at this project uh, after I degree my, my academy and I couldn't find a job in Belgrade so I decided to come back in my family house in, on the countryside. It's a small house in north of Serbia. Mm -hmm. And because I didn't, didn't actually knew what should I do there, I start uh, playing with my camera. I had some kind of a karmic game. Like I was questioning all those identities that are like usual to see in in that in my surrounding. This is uh, when I was farmer. It's a John Deere. It's mm. a <laughs> famous tractor. <laughs> The plant, and I really looked like the the guy who drives yes. the trucks because yeah, mm -hmm. I had a uh, towel around my neck. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, the the tractor was actually on, so it was really loud. And I every time I needed to go out from the tractor to make a south time and run there. So okay, you, you tried it. No, I didn't drive it. Mm -hmm. So. My friend was also on the countryside and he, he helped me a lot because he is a clothes designer and he oh, okay, yeah. helped me. Use yeah. So this was uh, in the village theater with mm. that light and everything. So I chose to be a theater actress. <laughs> One of the, because those are like things that I could do in my village actually because they are like normal things. Mm -hmm. People are working uh, different kinds of jobs, and I just didn't realize what how hard it is mm. for them to do that job. For example, uh, the firemen they have just only this one, this camion, mm. and when something is burning in the village, they could not burn the fire. So they are working every day, going on a job, and they drinking a beer mm -hmm. in the job because there there is no job for them. So I think it's very boring to be the fireman because. You were always waiting. You was always the wait, yeah. waiting the action, and action rarely comes. Okay. When I was prostitute, and it was like most hard part to 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 be a prostitute because I realized it's not so easy to be it's in such a strange things like bra mm -hmm. that's just choking me all the times. So I couldn't breathe. My hair, those ma that makeup, I was sweating and and. The skirt and the heels. I, I wear heels and the, I move my small <laughs> bag, <laughs> you know. And I, I, I went out uh, on the street, on the corner because lots of lots of the, the people who drive truck they are <laughs> passing them. It was really uh, <laughs> strange <laughs> experience because everybody <laughs> makes the sound yeah. like when they, they sound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because it was so hard to, to wear all this stuff and to act like a um, prostitute. So I was uh, trying to, to stop any car just to make a photo because I needed a client. So he is not a known one person? Uh, he's, you don't know him? He, yes, I know him because it's a small village, but okay. he's a neighbor from two streets okay. down. And then I said to him, please, can you stop just to make a photo and finish with all these clothes because I'm dying here? <laughs> and then she said, okay, I will stop. And it was the, uh, from, I don't know, 200 picture, pictures I made that night. This is the last one. Okay. And I said, okay, it's enough. I just can't do it. I'm working as a freelancer and sometimes you know, I have shooting one month and then two months it happens that I don't have shooting at all. Mm -hmm. So it must be really good month so I can cover the cost if I, of cost of extra, two months, extra yeah. two months. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it happens that, you know, it's really hard to have 
The permanent job. Be yeah, because I, I was working in that gallery, uh, Italian-Serbian gallery, mm -hmm. and I, we went, it was like three, four months, and we had many exhibitions there, and foreign artists and everything, and we, we was uh, participating in art, an art film, in Bologna and Milan, and after that, you know, because partic participation were, were expensive, after that, you know, I stopped working because, you know, she cannot pay me because nobody pays her. Mm. It's, you know, she, because the, the art scene in Serbia, it's completely fucked up right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how, where, from where that enthusiasm comes. To the artists because there's a lot of artists, really good one, who still work. You know, I work regular job so I can deal with my art work. You know, and it's also they do that. They produce their work. They pay production and everything. You know, mm -hmm. and I start working late, um, asking <coughs> myself lately. You know, why am you know what's going on? Now we have almost 20 sessions. Okay. I have 10,000 pictures of her. Mm -hmm. And so you work them in, in Photoshop after shooting? Yeah, I must. Or yeah, because just for the, just for the skin. skin. Mm -hmm. But she chooses her clothes and, her yeah. and the rooms and it's... No, new. no, she chooses uh, the makeup, uh, hair, uh, what she was mm. going to wear and I'm You're looking, for looking for locations. So every session she buys she mm. new clothes? No, she doesn't buy, she takes it from her boutique or from okay. some of her... Just delivers. using it to the session? And Just use it for the session and that's the way she makes her marketing for her store. What inspired me most of is being a woman in my country and the struggles I have and my experience to be a mom for a son in a young age, it makes me care about how women presented in photograph. So I want people to have a new image for women in photograph. I don't want to put women in a kind of um, restrictions or uh, boundaries which society push women to be inside. That's my, it's my most motivated uh, society pressure, I guess. I want to break it. I don't want more society pressure. Each phase in my life, it makes me change, you know. I'm, I'm not uh, in a fixed mood all the time, even if I'm in Egypt. Especially with the political issues last two years, it makes all people change. And we feel old inside us. However, we are not that old, but we feel very sad and disappointed also. And a new feeling for me, which is a kind of experience for me, is that I feel stranger in my country now. That this theme is going to be my new theme for work. How I feel a stranger in my country, however I'm in the same place, I don't feel the same feelings.
place. The place here makes me comfort. I don't feel this time here. I don't feel uh, uh, that time not passed. No, it's passing very smoothly and very nice. And uh, for me, yesterday was uh, one of my best days uh, because I go out in a park, which is a public park, but it's more than amazing. You just feel you are uh, reborn yesterday. Really? Yes, and I'm very inspired with the place and, uh, you know, you maybe not get what I will say, but it's what I feel yesterday when I was under the tree, just lying under the trees. It's something I can't do it in my country. Yesterday it was very easy. We just grab everything from the fridge and we said we have this and this, we can take this and eat. Just eat. It's not a matter what we will eat. But in Egypt you have to prepare and you call your mom and call your... I'm just eating. It was just food. But it's not easy. Everything not easy. Not... Uh... No, we don't enjoy our life. It's, it's very stressful. Just being yesterday in the street, walking and enjoying the sun, just playing with water, do everything we want without thinking about people around you. It's, it's amazing. And yesterday I was telling myself and my friends, I called them yesterday and told them, we're living in a very bad crush. All my work now is about how I felt in this one year and the reflection of this one year on my life because I had a son now and this son is, I, I raise him alone, okay, and I have to pay for him and take care of him alone and this is, makes me a kind of, I, I will say I'm struggling to be good mom, okay, because I have to work in my college and work in my master. So it's not easy to, to have a kid and you are divorced, especially yeah. in our countries. So um, photography is a kind of a place to escape to yeah. when I want to, to say what I feel, what I want. Um, since then I'm working photography. <laughs>
photography school, I was interested in, in this, in this te technical things of, of doing. And um, mm -hmm. for me, it was not only the artistic thinking, or mm -hmm. it was also the technical things in the beginning, mm -hmm. after I working with the hands and mm. touching the chemi. Yes, <laughs> but it's not good. Yeah. After it. <laughs> yeah, for me, the picture yeah. of departure in the moment was her, the woman with cancer, and so I had the reflection about it, how did she feel, or what is this person, and um, what she... Yes, and what's this new... So are we shocked because she's ill and we can see it? Or for me it's a really strong person. And she's a beautiful person and um, proud also. And a strong woman. Test like this and after you can compare if it's good or not good mm -hmm. and the differences. <laughs> For me, the contact sheet, it's good for two things. It's for seeing um, what, have. what I yeah. have mm -hmm. and also how I was working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because you are moving in a different way or mm -hmm. how was the feeling with the person, how was, yes, the the view, uh, mm -hmm. how move, how I moved or how he moved, he was moving. And the second thing is for ar archive. I'm, I'm now on a point or where I have a real reflection about what I want to do because all is a choice, you know, if you... And I, I like to continue my work mm -hmm. but when I have to continue my work, I, okay. I have to pay. So, but for earn money, I have to work hard. Work hard. Mm -hmm. But I can't accept the work all the year because I have to to work to, you are, yeah. to, to travel and mm -hmm. so to have time. So for this travel in, in Algeria, I uh, want to, to take a pictures of, of persons, so portraits. And um, for me it was very difficult to approach the people. And because the, the first step, uh, it was okay for it's, it's a nice contact with the, with the people there, and um, but the second step for, for asking if I can take a picture and take an appointment for making pictures, it was really difficult for me to, to ask and to make a, a accept from the people. Mm -hmm. And it's only the person, there's one person and uh, it's a normal posture and there's not a lot of things happened in, in the portraits, but there's one moment or one look, a strange look, or one gesture, or one... I like the, sam the, yes, the, sam the sample way of, of doing things, and uh, also in the landscapes, I, in the, uh, yes, it's... There are not a lot of things happen. Mm. And... Um, I think for me it's a good way to to work like this for yes to take pictures of people that I that I know because it's much more intimate intimate and much more and there's a, a real exchange because I like to to take time with the people and if I don't don't know the people it takes time to, for knowing them and so um so I have to takes time, so I have to, to come back and maybe the second time or the third time I, I can take a, a pictures, but it's not a, the, a rapid way for taking the portrait, so it's 
very slow and I think it's two hours, three hours for each person. I'm living with a Nigerian and so I'm interested in this country and um, I'm interested in uh, to understand why or, or how this country works and what ha what happens in this country. And there's also a memory of my own family because my uh, it's the grandfather of my grandmother. He's born in Algeria and after he moved to Tunisia. From time to time I'm I think about what happened when if if I if I were born there and not in Germany or because I'm not far from this mm. and I feel really a stranger in in Nigeria it's nothing to do with me and um, I'm a stranger but there is something I'm not far from not being a stranger and I think it's this um, in between I'm interesting in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so there's something and I'm asking also about what happened when I was born there and I try to understand I think for this also this country because it's, it's a little part of me in Tunisia much more but um, this I, I this difference between Europe and uh, Maghreb I try to understand why and what happened there before I was interested in the feeling that I can have when I I go back to this place of this kind of déjà vu this kind of I was here but not here or in I never was in Tunisia, but it's a part of me. And um, so I did this work, and, and after I taken pictures also of places in Germany. So when I was a child, and there are uh, really strong feelings of uh, childhood or of uh, emptiness also from my mother, and um, yes, of so uh, for for me it was important to do this. Of course, it's a dream for me that I can live from my art and from selling pictures. Mm -hmm. But I think the chance for this is so little. Yeah. You know. So, what can I do now? Is to produce or just still produce? Is to produce mm -hmm. my work mm -hmm. and to make choices and to, to, to work you know, to, for my bills, for my, for mm -hmm. my rent and all this. But for me, I think the first thing is not to make marketing and to sell my pictures. Yeah, yeah. It, art come first and then marketing. Yeah, it's but important. It's important, but I think there are a lot of galleries and a lot of the market is like <coughs> this. It's a lot of marketing, mm -hmm. and so. But you have market in Serbia. The, the art market doesn't exist at all. <laughs> and you, for you, yeah. it's easy. You live in in a yeah. country where. Where art all is well known and respected. It, yes, in but for for not for all people, you know, it's for high. It's small. Yeah. I know what. It's yeah, I know what. I'm not. Talking, I'm. You know, I'm not there. You know, it's not my world. Mm. It's not my. I'm a young photographer, and I'm not so young. And after I'm asking me if, because exhibitions are really expensive. Yeah, it is. You they know, are. and there are festivals, mm. galleries, and in, I don't know, but in Germany and in France there are like mushrooms mm. coming from <laughs> everywhere. <the ground, laughs> from everywhere, fe photographic festivals. And I think it's a good thing to do this from time to time, but it's really expensive. Especially if you don't sell anything. So, and you don't sell yeah. mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. So, it's just for, yes, I'm here and I was there and I have another line on my biography, uh, right. biography and so, okay, you can show from time to time, but I, I don't have 2,000 euros for the production all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This 2,000 euros I prefer to 
buy a ticket for a junior for, for Munich for, for continuing yes. my, my work. Yes. And so it's seen, it's not seen. For me at the moment, I, I don't know. I have to make choices. Yeah. The gallery always says to you, we give you a chance to be exposed. You, you, know, you know what? We put you in the right don't place. Give them them. Them. I know they don't uh, give you anything for free, but at the end, you cannot refuse their offer because you need to be exposed for different people. So you have to pay. Yeah, I, in the other way, I think the... But you have, have to be selective. For, for be, yes. We have to be selective. This is, this is the point. To be selective and choose what you know, moving us to a better place, but not exhibiting all the time, because it, the fees is too high, and the production also costs mm. a lot. For me, the thing there are so many young photographers like me, so there are so many, and they will find every time someone who will accept something mm -hmm. for nothing, because we have to show, and we have to show, and we have to show. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have this money, always to produce and to say yes, mm -hmm. or it's fine, and I, I yeah. give you, and I, I'm, I'm on the limit. my high school I realized that photography is the only thing I like and I wish to know more about it and, and I, 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 I hoped that I could be an artist even if I didn't know what that means. For example, the disappeared, there's a reflection of, um, I could say, a recent history that Serbia was going through even if I'm not so involved in it. I was very young and I couldn't understand what it's all about, the war and conflict between ex-Yugoslavian countries. And I still don't understand it because I don't want to believe uh, when, uh, for example, one person saying something. I, uh, it's just not objective. And I, there was it, in war. In every war, there's two sides, and they are both fight for the peace. In, in the disappeared, you can see the that the, that's the work that most well. Well, it it might might have something, but unconsciously, I will, my my point wasn't directed to the. To the war, the, to the bad time Serbia's having. No, my um, thoughts were like, what's happened with people who disappeared. France was first, my first foreign country I visited after yeah. the bombarding and the visa thing, and it was by my first touch with uh, with uh, Europe, with European con con culture. And for me, it was something amazing. It was a new experience. It opened my eyes, opened my my mind, my thoughts to to embrace the the other things. Traveling, <laughs> that's the the precious thing in my life. I love to be involved in some sort of a new surrounding with new culture, new people, new experience. I just love it. I feel I feel full power when I'm with foreign people or when I'm on my travel. 
because I think I uh, we all bring all that what's what's most important of us. We we take it in ourselves. And uh, yeah, traveling, music moves me. Oh, music moves me a lot, lot, lot. Music, it's something that I, the thing I couldn't live without. It's just the energy and the emotion I get from music, it makes me feel happy. Is this some kind of a narrative? Like, you, you need to watch it in a specific order, like from... No, no right you can't left. arrange it as okay. a, This collection of work is called The Journey, which is a, a kind of journey from when you are just a little baby to, to reach mm -hmm. marriage and how it will go on back again if you have a girl in your life, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, history repeats. Really really yes, history repeats yeah. itself because no one has changed it. Yeah. Okay, and it's important to say that men are living in this Google life, yeah. but we all have to be stuck with this. Oh, yeah. It's not complaining what is Islam or not, but it's it's how they are explaining Islam or de define Islam. Yeah, they okay? want to show it on. Um, mm. It's just for their sake, not for our sake. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this piece of work is maybe have everything in in one piece. Uh, it it tells a story when a woman is pregnant after getting married she is uh, care too much is the baby is a boy or a girl because mm -hmm. if he, he is a boy it's different totally different if she is a girl uh, so I put a, a baby in a cage because we don't know if he will be a boy or a girl mm -hmm. so if he is a male he is going to be out, out. of this cage yeah, that is she is a female she will be small and uh, you know staying in this cage and I put there's a lot of people here doing a kind of bed it was a tradition thing to make beds great uh -huh. big beds for mm -hmm. boys and maybe half bed for the girl okay it's kind of celebration with the, mm -hmm. the baby who is coming mm -hmm. and it shows how it is unequal to have a boy or a girl no. was the same in our society hundred years ago no, it's, it's the same story in every place, but it takes time from place to place to change the situation. And we also have one here. I prefer this one also. It's a bride. She cannot show us her face because she is shy to show us that she is old and she didn't get married to a man. And you'll find a lot of... There is uh, many of old women who never get married. Yes, because um, your chances to get married is reduced when you are getting old. Yeah. And I use engraving artwork from old Cairo.
to show the contradiction between how it is the situation now. I insist to use a modern model to show it is opposite of the engraving artwork in the background. Mm -hmm. And here is this one also. I, I like it because it's the same situation happened mostly for every woman uh, in my society that after wedding, that next day they came to your house Mm -hmm. to say congratulations for your marriage and uh, it was nice wedding yesterday and all this. I, I add here um, camera. a camera to say that they are taking a chance Evidence. for me. You know? Evidence. Yes. Yeah. And they're trying, they pretend they are bringing gifts and uh, all good things to you but they are not. That's they true. are checking right. if you are virgin or not, if you are nice or not. Did you cook? You How can you cook you, after the wedding? Come on. <laughs> Who eats after what the wedding? What you offer for them when they came to you? Are you a uh, warm hospitality for them or not? Uh, you know, they, they are just them. judging you. And when people came for see your exhibition, how is their reaction? Uh, it wasn't the same reaction, of course, for yeah. other people because some of them just say to me it wasn't nice to you. It was the most an Islamic uh, sentence to, to, to put it in a word. And why is that? Because they feel it's a kind of unrespect to use it. Okay. Why? Uh, it's something as if it's uh, a holy thing, you don't have to use it in artwork. But I insist to put this kind of Islamic you know, symbols to, to say that this is uh, the thing they are trying to, to say this is a boundary, okay? But it's okay. not. They are putting Islam in front of you as if it is a thing you have to, you know, justify what you are doing in your life because of this. Okay? So it's like... They, it's they, like they a wall. It's yeah. a yeah. like shield for them. Yeah. If, if you want to put me in a corner and say to me, you have to do, to do this, you will... Obey. You have to obey because it's uh, Islam says, but it's not the Islam at all. Okay. It's just men says. And did you feel different reactions from men and women in front of your work? Yes, I think women love to see my work because mm -hmm. they feel they are in in this world. Yeah. And without too much talking, they they got the story. Mm. Yeah. yeah. With a little just looking and feeling yeah, because they have the same yes. history yeah, it was, it yes is, yeah. and it's easy to communicate with it yeah um, it's like the women create their own world for a, a reading the symbols they yes and really a, a woman buy this for me she told me I passed through this yeah and I want to have it because I have a girl but I, I raised her well and yeah. I told her you should be proud of yourself there's nothing to be Yes, Ashen, because you are a girl and you, you will, one day you will be a woman and you have to raise your kids of in a good way. Yes. You see how she doing it like you can go, you can go. <laughs> I can go now. Again, I was so... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm cheating myself. Yes. But I think I'm dying here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do it oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from this side? It would be better. Just here? No. Uh, <laughs> that is the problem. Complicated. Better? I don't know. Let me see. She was sitting in the This is abstract karma. Where are we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you make it um, like larger picture? Like to be a no no in to a be a horizontal like yeah, this, yeah, and then we can fit three of us. 